Time again, folks. Time for you to sit back, relax, and let us show you the best of the best from the week that was. Uh, all is quiet at the Rogers Complex up in Fort Dodge for now, but come tomorrow, it'll be rocking for the high school state softball tournament. Now, we've introduced you to the Ogden Bulldogs, but how about some others that are making the trek to Fort Dodge this week? But before we do that, let's go to our top five plays of the week. The Iowa Cubs breaking in at number five tonight on our countdown. Dixon Machado has his beam set on this fly. Ball. Look at this. Uh, yeah, uh, that is pretty impressive. Jim Adusi, though, he is not very happy with him taking his ball there. Machado makes the out with his back to the home plate. He goes from short to shallow left, just like that. Hey, when you're in the zone, you are in the zone. And Dixon Machado, he was in the zone. Number four, this Waukee squad looks to be the real deal. Now, they locked up their spot as the top team in 5A when they took down Sioux City North. Fourth, nine to nothing this last week. The team, they are on a 13 game win streak. Now, I crunched some numbers for you tonight. And in that winning streak, they have taken down their opponents 122 to 17. Six of those games were also shutouts. They are going to be a hard out in what is a loaded 5A bracket. Number three tonight, the team to beat in Class 1A, the Collins Maxwell Spartans. They were your champions last year, and they look to be right back on track. Sparty has lost just one game all season long. Now what this team does best is their pitching. The unit as a whole has a .29 ERA and has given up just eight runs all season long. It looks like Collins Maxwell, they are on a collision course to meet up with the one loss, the other one loss team that is Clarksville. Those two are the only one loss teams in the tournament and for what it's worth, the Spartans top them in the regular season this year. Number two now, how about those Phillies of Dallas Center Grimes? They've got a solid lineup, all nine of them, who can drive in some runs. They can even take some balls deep on you, too. Haley Hildebaugh, Riley Hall, and Molly Cooney will all be big offensive keys for them this week. That 4 a bracket looks to be pretty tough, so it's going to be interesting to see how this one all plays out in Fort Dodge. Finally, number one in our countdown. All right, it is, the, it is those Ogden Bulldogs again there. Are going to be a whole lot of fun to watch how far they can take it this year. Denali Lecker, once again, leading the state in home runs with 20. She also leads the state in walks with 52. And I remember last year that Hoover Husky team, they snapped a 36-year drought by winning the title. So maybe this year Ogden can be the chosen one. I love 52 walks. That's the best stat. Yeah, you said it yesterday, the Barry Bonds treatment. That's Absolutely. what she's been getting. I, I know you're